At the start of a new year, Metro North riders can expect a new ticket cost. New Haven line fares will increase by 5%, taking effect January 1st, 2014. A lot of people that use the rail are, are trying to cut, you know, are, are cutting back on using their car, their vehicles, you know what I mean? So they, they're looking at some means of, of, of lessening the burden of transportation. But it's not just the expense increase. After a year filled with train troubles, Carson says safety is a bigger concern. There's not even enough um, distribution of, of rail service to accommodate the commuters and you got people that are still standing in the aisles. If a train does get in an accident and you got people standing in the aisles, somebody gonna get hurt. Rail commuter advocate Jim Cameron says the price jump was expected and included in the budgets for 2012 to 2014. But with all the 2013 Metro North incidents, Cameron says this year's fare increase timing is unfortunate. Service has uh, seriously deteriorated uh, this year since the uh, May derailment and collision, uh, the trains have been running slower and slower because the railroad uh, put out what they call slow orders uh, to make the trains safer, uh, which was obviously the right thing to do. He says one way commuters can avoid the increase is purchasing 10 trip tickets today pre-fare hike. You can buy those online. You can buy them at a uh, train station or at Grand Central and they're good for uh, six months. But some commuters say they're not worried. 5% increase, no big deal. You know, it's better than the gas mileage. The increase will affect ticket prices between Connecticut and New York stations and between Connecticut stations. Christina Chiarelli, itsrelevant.com.